Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Today I'm going to draw a sugar skull. And I have many of these on my channel. I do enjoy doing them. <clears throat> so we're just going to get to getting. Um, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you hit the bell next to it, it will notify you when I upload new videos, which are usually five to six times a week. And for all of you guys who are back watching my videos, hello, I appreciate it. So I'm just going to draw, <clears throat> I hope you guys can see, I don't know. Let's see. Um, I'm going to start like that. Very, uh, oh my goodness, the autofocus is on. No, thank you. Just kind of sketching. Um, hmm. Let's see if this comes around. Gotta come in that way a little bit, and then we'll do it here. I mean, it's a you know skeleton for goodness sake. Okay, erase the small lines. Not going to worry too much about erasing because once I get kind of what I want going on, then I will um, pen it <laughs> with my marker or a permanent pen just so I can go from there. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, I can see this is way too. I'm a little, I'm a little off today, so why not have this off, right? <laughs> la, 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 la. I erase a lot. I know some people don't erase a lot. I do because um, sometimes it just in the vision in my head is just not, it just doesn't kind of turn out what I want it to be. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to leave that like that for now. Okay. Once I draw the eyes and everything, maybe it'll become better. So these are the, this is where I want the, let's see, if I take those like that, that's where I want this to be. More there. Okay. All right. Again, I'm not going for a um, scientific skull, if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to go in and do a circle here. And then do a bigger circle here. Kind of like, an, I'm, I'm kind of going an odd, let's say an odd skull. Odd sugar skull. Because why not? And this is an upside down heart. like so and then the teeth so i think i'm gonna put a line here for the teeth and like i said when you know you want to do something like this do it i'm doing it in an eye girl style but of course you can you know look up on the internet or whatever and just kind of do your own thing no big deal so i'm gonna do smaller teeth like that and then do it the opposite way like that kind of up like that you want that to kind of touch that line that you drew on both sides and this i will probably put a little rounder for now. I'm going to erase this so I can see. Mm. La, 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 la. How is your guys day going? I hope it's going good. I just felt like sitting and drawing and I thought why not? Okay. 
And I would love if you guys, you know, if anybody wants to draw anything like this, I would love to see it. You guys know you can put it in the group. You could tag me anywhere on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere. All my information is down below. I would love to see what you do. In your interpretation, I'm so excited for October to be coming. Okay. So I want, I think what I'm going to do now is trace this in pen. Now, my daughter bought the, I don't even know if it's going to work, uh, Jane Davenport. Port uh, incredible pen and it's a calligraphy kind of pen she said it's kind of funky that it runs and leaks and all that kind of stuff you have to watch but it's a good pen but you just gotta watch so I know this is like an ink so it'll be permanent so I'm gonna very carefully go in And trace. Now the only thing you have to watch if you're doing something like this with a pen like this, even with a marker really, you just want to watch that it um, dries before you erase. And I'm just kind of going in different sections here. So I don't smear it because I'm good for smearing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do a little tape. Make sure you hit that line just so. I mean, you don't have to, but try your best. And then the eyes. You see, I'm not using any circle template or anything like that. I'm just kind of going for it. And. I'm going to put this down now. And like I said, this is just the Jane. She uses it to journal and stuff. And, and it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm not uh, hating on it. I haven't really had too much of a problem of it leaking. But she said, I mean, just for anybody who wants to know. I guess well, I better not play around with it because I'll mess it up. And then I don't want to do that since it's hers. But she said there's like a cartridge in here. And sometimes it comes loose and when you shake it and then, like she said, it's just bizarre. Like you'll be using it and it just comes loose. So I don't know. I don't know. But I am going to dry this just for, just to help. But so far so good. I haven't bought any, I haven't bought anything from uh, Jane Davenport and her new uh, line. I just don't have the money to. So... Okay, now I'm going to erase all my pencil. But I'd love to try her watercolors and all that kind of stuff. There's mixed reviews on, on them. Of course, now you can see I smeared that a little bit because it wasn't dry all the way. But, uh, you know, mixed reviews. People either love them or they don't. And I would love to try them, but we'll see. One day. And when I get them, then I will give you my review even though they've been out for a while I don't even know what else she has I, know she, I think she has journals I think Emily just picked up the pen she didn't even know who it was like she, she has no clue who that is but she uh, wanted a calligraphy pen and it came with the I think it comes with two or three I think she says ink well things so that's pretty cool okay so before I do anything else I want to paint it and I think I'm gonna go with I had yeah I'm gonna go with um antique white I think gonna paint it with antique white Let's get my paintbrush 
And I don't want to do any shadows or anything like that yet. Now, chances are I'll probably cut it out and throw it on a canvas if I like it. I'm just, honestly, I'm just kind of playing here because I've not been feeling very well. And uh, I want, I, I just want to do art. Like I could sit here and straighten up my room all day because I've, I've been bringing a few things up from um, my room downstairs. Like I brought up some more of my uh, ink pads and that kind of stuff. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time of stuff that I'm going to use because I want to kind of put stuff in boxes down there with names like on what it is because I have so many. I wish it wasn't so expensive to ship because I have so much art supplies, so many. Um, but I have a lot of, um, which I love. I don't, you know, I just can't bring them all up. What are they called? Uh, like scrapbook pads and all the papers and oh, I just have so many. I love them. But I just can't bring them all up. And then I end up tearing papers from it uh, to use. And then I'm carrying those up and they're everywhere. It's just a pain. <laughs> really a pain. So I have a lot of that and just stuff. I don't, I don't know. I have 20 years of stuff down there. Okay, it's smearing a little bit. Again, though, that's probably because it wasn't all the way dry. My fault. Because in all honesty, it should. Let's see. Let me test it. Once that's dry there. Okay. Should probably use a smaller brush. I'll just go over and do the, you know, whatever I smeared or went over the lines. Not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay. So I kind of do them like that. And once you wipe this, I wish I would have thought ahead because I would have put paper there so I wouldn't have wasted it, but I didn't. I'm just going to dry this real quick. This stuff, the acrylic paint dry so fast. We're going to see how this writes on acrylic paint, which I think is one of the reasons she made it. Or does she have paint pens? I can't remember. But I think I might break out my uh, dilution. I don't know. Where am I to use all paint? Who the heck knows? Okay. I've had a lot of requests for chalk paint. Not to make chalk paint, but to um, use chalk paint. So keep your eyes out for that. I will be doing that. Okay, right. I mean, it's writing good. Yeah, I'm not hating on that at all. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I know a lot of you, um, and I'm not, this is not sponsored, and I have, I'm not, I don't know if this is on Blitzy or not, because <laughs> I do enjoy my Blitzy. However, uh, if you guys ever have issues writing on, now the Dilutions, I haven't had the Dilutions pens and all, those are really good. Um, but if you have trouble writing on, like, when you're doing your art journaling or uh, mixed media paintings or whatever, and you want something to write on acrylic, you know, try this. I'll, I'll do a few more like demos with this just so, you know, I can show you guys, but I mean, it wrote over there and it's not a big deal. You know, it wrote. So let's see. I'm just going to hit this, which I do this when I use regular pen or marker anyway, but let's just try this little thing right here with my, let's see. Hmm. It's smeared. Maybe I didn't give it enough time though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go over these teeth. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it isn't supposed to be waterproof. Maybe it needs to dry longer. Maybe I didn't investigate. I didn't know. Okay. It's 
Because, like, it, I would assume it's India ink in there, right? Because India ink is permanent. That stuff's great. trying to make it a little decayed looking maybe mm -hmm. it must be very humid out because it is humid in here and I don't know I haven't checked the weather or been outside today but I have my air on and it's still like whew. So, like I said, don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna grab my pens, markers, whatever they're called. Let's see how they're gonna work. So I think I want to. Where'd my pen go? Oh, I swear, Kelly, if your head was not attached, I love. I'm gonna do a bow. A big bow. Now I might change that. I might make it a little smaller. Just because. like that all right let me try black let's see how this works Is anybody watching Big Brother UK or Big Brother US? I'm watching both, but uh, come on, babe, it'll work for me. <sighs> come on. I'm not having luck today, am I? But uh, Big Brother UK, oh, that and uh, all right, so it dries pretty fast, the marker, so that's not going to reactivate. Um, I have to watch Big Brother from last night or Big Brother, United States Big Brother. I shouldn't say ours because I don't know where you're watching from, but um, and I have to watch last night's UK one too. So I gotta clean it, keep cleaning this off, which I told you when you use anything really with acrylic paint, you wanna make sure you clean it off because it's plastic and when it dries, you're not gonna have good luck. You know, right now I'm just playing. I'm not really. Come on. I don't want it necessarily solid, but I'd like it to work. <laughs> it's not working. See if some ink comes down. I swear. I should have just stayed in bed today. That's the kind of day. Do you guys ever have those days when you're like, maybe I should just stay in bed? I think I'm just going with acrylic paint. There we go. It's coming out now, of course, right? I want to do this. I want to kind of make it connect. All right, you're just being a jerk. Come on now. Jerk. Quit being a jerk. Quit being a jerk. Yeah, not not being very friendly. So therefore, hmm. I'm very frustrated. Very frustrated with this. Alright, I'm just gonna clean off the sides and I will deal with this later. Okay. 
and we'll deal with it later. I think that's all I'm going to do. i got to let kind of everything dry now because it's really not, not being my best friend right now. But that's okay. I mean, you know, I probably, uh, well, that might say. Can add some shadow in here. Ooh, maybe I'll use a smaller brush though, Kel. What do you think about that? This is what happens. I sit and play, and then I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah? Really? Okay. I wanted this one to be more opaque. Get just some of those lines going through. Well, I mean, that wasn't a total bust with the black. Let's see? A little bit more water. Maybe I can get the nose. Because then I can put highlights and I can kind of get the base of what I want to do. While everything dries. So, look what you can do if it does, if you do get these or if you have a issue if you know what i mean which usually like i said i probably if i sat here and played with it i could probably get the ink out maybe i wasn't having enough patience so i can't blame it on anything but me at the moment um so you know think outside the box which is what i love to tell you guys and use it to your advantage because normally i would cry and say i just wasted all that ink but guess what I'm just going to go in real quick before it dries. That's why I'm not stopping my video. And I'm going to add some shadowing around. And now that uh, calligraphy pen is not coming up, you can see I'm going over it with water and it's completely dry there. So I just think it goes into the paper a little bit and needs a minute, extra minute to dry. So, so far, so good. So I want to kind of do that. And some a little bit cracks. So I just made a little palette for myself. Next time, though, let me tell you, when you do anything like this with anything, a pen, paint pen, whatever, do it on something other than paper because I would have had a lot more to work with here because the paper obviously is soaking it in. Which, you know, I mean, I'm working with it, but you'd have a lot more to work with if it was on your uh, pad. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you get it? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. All right. Because I want to add some cracks too, but not exactly yet. I want to, maybe I'll do this real quick too. I'm going to go around the bow. <laughs> now look. Can you see like there's some crumbs because my paper, because I'm just beating the crap out of it, getting some of this up, you know, and I just really probably want to finish this and be done there because the paper's starting to pill up because of all the water and rubbing I'm doing, but you know. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I won't put this up yet. I'll... I don't know. I don't know. No, uh, you know what? I'm going to... I've watched too much of this. I think I'm going to finish it. I'm so out of it today. There's so much on my mind. But I think I'm just going to grab some paint and go for it, honestly. Really. I really, really do. I'm going to take some bright pink 
This is a uh, fuchsia. And I'm going to take that little paintbrush and dry it off. What I'm going to do though is turn my, turn it this way to paint. I'm going to age that too, age this a little bit. Wet that water a little bit because I don't, I mean, with wet the paint with water because I want it a little thinner and to kind of carry through with different like uh, stages of the color. Some more, you know, some brighter. Some darker, some lighter. I'll add some highlights. And then I'll bring some more of that gray. I'm just going to throw some water down here. Some of that gray uh, back in. You know, for those of you starting out or for those of you who might not have you know, a ton of money to go get paint brushes or whatever, you can definitely go to your dollar store, even your craft store, and you can get the foam brushes for like 10 for a dollar when they're on sale um, and paint with those. They have different sizes and, you know, you can get quite a few for a buck. I think it's like three for a dollar, maybe you get 10 for five dollars. I don't know. They always have the sales. Um, but, you know, so you don't have to really not paint if you don't have all the supplies. They do come in different sizes. And you can, you know, you can still paint and have fun and do your art journaling or ATCs or just like this on a piece of paper, you know, you're just kind of in a, you know, not the greatest mood and you kind of want to do some stuff. So why not, you know, let's see here, I'm going to kind of, but you definitely can do that. giving it rosy cheeks but I'm going to take some of it off I just want like the little bit of, bit, bit, bit of color so yeah so I'm just going to tap some of it away I want it to look like, how can I explain it? Just like a trace of it. Or am I taking away a little too much? Just like a little bit like if you remember being young, if you ever went to bed with your makeup on and you wake up and you can like barely see your blush or whatever. It's kind of what I want going on here. I don't want to take too much, but I want it to be faint. You see what I'm saying? I can't, I just, uh, yeah, I just want it to look like, I don't know how well you can see, just see like the lightest bit of it. That's all. Ooh. And I love the, I love the gray around the eyes. Um, now I think I'm going to, uh, should I use a pen or a pencil? What should I do? Or should I just go for black? Maybe I'll just use this since it was working good for me anyway. I kind of want to make the... Uh, yeah, they do the flowers. Okay. 
And then I think, I think, I think I'm going to use a pencil first. And then I'll go over with this. Like that. And okay. I'm going to go and Oh, you know what I'm going to do there? I know what I'm going to do there. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my water-soluble pencil, my Stabilo. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go in because I want it to bleed in a bit. So I'm just going to kind of go in and color. You can use your Neo Color 2 water-soluble uh, crayon, gelato. I didn't mention gelatos yesterday in my other video. I will do, you guys really requested some more videos on those kind of things and how to use them. So we will do that. Um, you can use your gelato. You can use your water soluble oil pastels. You can use your watercolor markers, which I wish I would have thought about because I would have used, but you really can, you can use, you know, whatever you have that's water that you can activate with water. And then I'm going to take my little brush again and I'm going to go in and activate it. And I don't care if it looks a little rough, you know, it's okay because it's a tattered bow. You could be fancy and put like the things around here too. What are they called? The little scallops, like on the flowers. And you see, as you drag, I keep wiping my brush off because as, as you drag it in, it's adding like more kind of like a lighter, you know, it's kind of doing a little bit of a shadow kind of thing, right? To make it look a little dingy. I'll probably do a wash over the pink as well. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to pull some of this in. I'm going to wet my brush and then I'm going to kind of do this and pull up a little bit of that black. And it's just to push some of that pink back. See in the lines how I'm doing just kind of like back and forth pulling it just to make it look a little a little dirty. Same with this. Same with with this. You can do the same thing. You want some of that pink, you know, to look. If it dries on this side, just go get some more. Or take your little whatever you're using and just put a little dot there and wet it and get to town. And bring those lines in. Okay, put that away. Now, do we try another one of these uh, markers, the delusions? Let's try it again. Let's try around here. What I want to see is if I do that, can I paint with it while it's on there? Because it's essentially making my paint for me, which is probably very wasteful with these. But 
I like to see what I can do. I like to use things multi-purpose, but I don't think you want to like go and scribble in all of them and then go paint. I think you want to kind of do one at a time. If you dig what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd be nervous if you did too much. The smaller ones, probably no big deal. Now, my the color is a lot brighter than it's showing up on my thing here. I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. Hmm. Let's see if that's any better. All right, so I wanted to do that color. What if we do this green turquoise color? I'm going to shake it. Just because I'm just trying all the colors. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Come on. I really want these markers to work. I don't want them to be... It's drawing very fast. It's not giving me my play time. Okay, it's coming out. So that's good. That's a good sign. Maybe just the black one is being a little jerk. Because these are coming out nice. So far, so good. It's a beautiful color. I think recently that's one of the most questions I get. Are the Delusions pens still working? The Delusions markers, are they still working? I'm like, I hope so. I hope so. Okay, so let's do now, let's do a purple. Why not? Ooh, she's a working, isn't she? <laughs> not complaining. I'm happy about it. I'm just kind of dragging it in the other ones. And let's make this in here a little purple. Okay. Not going to hate. So I think for now, she's going to be done for a few. I think what I'm going to do is, like, she needs highlights. And I think I might add some leaves, like, and dots and all, I'll probably show you like when I do, like I'm probably gonna do a vlog tomorrow. Um, so I'll probably show you the rest uh, when I do my vlog. But uh, you know, like once it's done, once I sit and play. But I mean, for now, not bad. I mean, playing around, seeing what works, seeing what, I could sit here and continue, but I think we're pretty good. I think on this flower, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use blue. For these as I say I'm done see this is why I do do this and I want to outline everything in black but I'm gonna have to find I might have to use that Jane Davenport again because um, unless I can get my dilutions delusions what is it dilutions I do it because her name's Diane 
but her, uh, if I can get the black working, but I mean, the color ones are working fantastic. So I'm going to see about doing another giveaway for these. I just did one giveaway. I just mailed them out. Um, so I want to do, you know, I like doing giveaways. So I might look into getting more of these. Let me know down below if that's something that you guys would like is another giveaway on these, um, on the colored ones, because they really do work really good. And like I said, these ones I'm going to go around and, and trace and all that and play a little bit longer. But for the most part, she's kind of done. So, you know, just some highlights and some tracing, you know, some uh, things. So let me know what you think down below. And do me a favor. Go check out my daughter's YouTube channel. The link will be uh, around here at the end of the video and down below as well. Her and her boyfriend, she did he did her makeup and it's a great video. So please go check that out and uh, share me everywhere if you would. I'd appreciate it. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos. And if you're not already and would like to be, please subscribe. It's down below. Click the bell next to it. And uh, keep your eyes and ears open for giveaways because you never know when I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, sometimes it'll be in just a plain video. Sometimes it'll be if you leave a comment. Sometimes it'll be in a proper giveaway. You never, never know with me. It depends on my mood. <laughs> and if you guys do this, let me know. I appreciate it. And if you got all the way to the end of the video, please leave me a comment down below with a, hmm, what kind of word? With sugar skull. Leave me a sentence with Sugar Skull. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting, and we are progress, not perfection. Let's just have fun. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.